in this video I'll be showing you electron microscopic images of some of the fascinating microbes you all might be interested in looking how they look under the electron microscope it's just so amazing let's start we'll start with step pneumonia you can see on your screen these two these two are step pneumonia we uh, classically describe them as lancet shaped organisms in the microscope right yes so this is that shape lancet shaped organisms and some of the relevant points regarding this microbe could be it uh, causes meningitis otitis media pneumonia and sepsis this is a four common things which step pneumonia can lead to if a gram positive bacteria let's move on this amazing electro electron microscopy image is of aspergillus and you can see here aspergillus you can see how beautiful they are arranged just like stack of buildings this is an electron microscope image of aspergillus and uh, something clinically related to aspergillus can be it is found in plant and decaying plant matter it can be found in soil the most important concern is for the immunocompromised people or the patients aspergillus takes far importance in that kind of group of patients and i want to tell you something special here some species some species of aspergillus also produce aflatoxins these aflatoxins are associated with hepatocellular carcinoma so those were the relevant points for this image let's move this wonderful image is showing human immunodeficiency virus hiv virus type 1 see follow the cursor these green dots these are the hiv viruses and these this big structure with some of the pseudopodia kind of extensions these are actually the lymphocytes these are the t lymphocytes and these individual green dots are the hiv virus type 1 and uh, uh, some related facts with this virus it was first identified in the year 18 uh, 1983 uh, i apologize for that it was first identified in the year 1983 as a cause of aids acquired immunodeficiency syndrome one of the important and really fascinating thing about this virus is initially in the infection it is, it is macrophage tropic it tries to attach to macrophages later in the infection it becomes t cell tropic it tries to attach to the t cells uh, so uh, what i want to tell you here is since the beginning in the infection it is macrophage tropic it attaches to a receptor called ccr5 I'll repeat it attaches to a receptor on the macrophage called as CCR5 so the individuals who are who are who have mutations on the receptor CCR5 they are actually immune to this virus all the individuals who are homozygous mutant for CCR5 receptors are Im uh, are immune to this virus and then there might be some of some group of patients who are heterozygous mutant and those group of patients are slow progressors of this disease so those were the two fascinating uh, amazing info about this virus we'll move ahead and here it is pseudomonas aeruginosa you can follow my cursor this is pseudomonas aeruginosa these rod shaped organisms which you can see on your screen are the examples of pseudomonas aeruginosa this image has been fantastically captured and i like to tell you something important regarding pseudomonas aeruginosa is mm, you might be uh, you might have heard of that in burn units no vegetations no flowers no food items are allowed and basically vegetables and flowers Pseudomonas aeruginosa is more likely to spread in a burn patient from the sources of organic materials like flowers and vegetables, green leafy vegetables and that sort of things. So whenever you think of Pseudomonas aeruginosa, just keep in mind that it is an important infectious cause of sepsis in burns patient. 
let's move on oh see this amazing image here these around bodies these around bodies they are coronavirus and 2003 epidemic of SARS was caused by coronavirus it causes influenza like illness and the epidemic of 2003 was caused by coronavirus the epidemic of SARS was caused by coronavirus we'll move ahead see this this particular image is showing us leptospira these golden kind of structures Third, third kind of structures which are more like a spring they are leptospira and this is a filter the blue part is a filter where they have been caught and they were not able to pass through this filter and this whole image is taken by electron microscope as far as leptospira is concerned I want to tell you just a few things here leptospirosis is a disease caused by leptospira and uh, it generally causes a mild and mild flu like symptoms jaundice there may be photophobia and they they will or they may they may or they may not be conjunctival suffusion the more important part of this leptospira is there is something called wheels disease w e i l i will spell it for you wheels disease this is a serious form of leptospirosis where there is severe jaundice and azotemia from liver and kidney dysfunction you just have to remember wheel disease as clinically relevant thing for leptospira this image oh finally we have come to the master of all the viruses recent times in the recent times especially this is Ebola virus uh, you might all be aware of the Ebola crisis the world faced just a few months ago this is native to the African continent as far as researchers believe till today that this virus is not native to any other continent except for Africa. It is a zoonotic type of disease. Animals are reservoirs and it can spread to humans. So this is the 3D structure of Ebola virus electron microscope image. I'll just rewind all the images for you in a fast manner just have a look at this is leptospira this is coronavirus this is pseudomonas aeruginosa this is human immunodeficiency virus type 1 hiv type 1 this is aspergillus beautifully arranged and this is strepnemonia okay let's move for more of such videos please subscribe to our channel